In this day of the sharing economy, which we're so aware of because of social media, it's important to recognise that all return on investment isn't measured in dollars, pounds or whichever currency you may work with. Social capital is about that capital that's been built up, non-monetary, non-tangible, that engages your buyer in a way that gets them to do things for you. Ultimately, if you're a brand with social capital, you know you have social capital and ultimately you can exploit it. If you're a brand that doesn't know whether you have social capital yet or doesn't have social capital at all, you probably don't. The point being that if a brand has social capital, you have buyers and they will do something for you. They are prepared to go out there and advocate for you. They're prepared to spend time talking about your brand with others and encouraging those people to engage with you directly. It becomes a circle of engagement, a circle of activity, which extends far beyond your own activity within social media and brings others to your brand for your benefit. We develop social capital with our prospects through the constant engagement and discussion and conversation that we have through all of the different means of digital marketing. Through social media, it might be through Twitter, it might be through Facebook, it might be through LinkedIn. Um, you know, through our website as well, we have you know blogs as well, which which people can comment on. We are a recruitment agency, and people are very you know we're we're, we're very face to face. We're very much about conversation. We're very much about gaining trust, and therefore we like whenever we can see you know the amount of shares and the amount of likes that we have, the amount of people in, the, in our different networks, the amount of followers that we have on Twitter, the amount of people that are following our company on LinkedIn, all really gives us feedback that our social capital is strong and therefore we continue to build that and it pushes us in the right direction of having a really strong online presence. There's some advice I would give other small businesses when considering developing their digital marketing. I would say don't be afraid of what's new and unfamiliar and don't rob yourself of the learning experience that could serve you well in the long run. Just speak your customer's language, care about your client and most importantly, be authentic. That's the only way you can build the sense of community around your business that will push it to the next level.